Yeah. Did that put you off the life, or are you sort of thinking... Oh, no, it, it, tra- it totally the opposite. It made me um, deeply keen to do more, uh, both, both on screen and off screen, actually. I've not ever been much of a traveller. Uh, often when you're self-employed, you tend to spend a lot of time waiting around for the phone to ring, and you worry that if you do make plans, that that will be the moment that you miss the great job opportunity. Um, but doing that trip up the Mekong was absolutely changed my life you know because now I can't wait to do more and put myself in more awkward difficult painful hilarious odd situations you know I sort of thrive on I suppose um uh the excitement of uh improvising so that was a very extreme version of that you know no I think I'm not very good at holidays I'm not very good at sort of sitting still and I don't tan and I just go red and itchy so uh proper travel would be great and proper you know what we tried to do with the Mekong show was to really live in the communities and understand a little bit. I mean, of course, you can't re-inhabit it truly, but a little bit of what they go through and what their lives are like. Um, and I'm sure detractors would say, oh, you just go and stay in the nearest five-star hotel. Well, if you can find one of those in the northern mountain regions of Cambodia, I'd be very interested to hear. Um, I'd love to do more proper travel. I don't think Michael Palin's a national treasure. One can never hope to, you know, to gain the, the sort of... The, the, the sort of fondness that the public have for him but uh, I'll just do my thing and I hope people like it and Is it to have a diverse age group on the 